Eric the car guy, here with Paul Cangilosi. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going to figure out the final drive ratio on this posi traction rear end. And Paul tells me, you can only do this with a posi traction rear end, you cannot do it yeah. with a standard differential. And this yeah. is a posi traction differential that I got from Pull Apart. Uh, it came out of what I believe to be an 86 Mustang. As I said, it is a uh, posi traction. So now we're gonna see if we can figure out the gear ratio and what do you want to call this, the poor man's way or the quick way? It's, a, it's the quick way, poor man's way, because they only usually had certain ratios like 308s, yeah. you know, 355s, 342s. There's no real oddball sets. And what happens is since we're building a transmission, we kind of want to put the right drive gear for the speedometer in there and not put the whole unit in the car and find out that we're out of our range because speedometer gears work in a certain range. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, just take a rough mark over here of the drum against the backing plate. Okay. Okay, and then just do the yoke over here. And then we're just going to simply count how many times this turns to one turn of that. That's all. So, in other words, there's one. Two. Two. I was thinking 308, that was my guess. Uh-uh, look at that. This is like a 276 yeah, rear. Are, these are high, high, high weight gears yeah. for sure. All right. Well, I'm hoping to run 308s. Okay, so, but this is a 276 rear. Now 308 would have had to have yeah, this kind of like, that and a, little a little bit more. more, you see? That would have been a So we're like around a 276 rear here. So that speedometer gear is an eighth tooth drive in there, that's what you would use, not the seven tooth one. If you're gonna be doing 308s and that, it would kind of run that speedo set that you have there right now. And just real quick, the way to determine whether you have posi traction or whether you have just a regular differential, go ahead and spin that. Right, you'll see both you are see spinning in the same direction. Both, both of these are spinning in the same direction. So if one spins in one direction and the other spins in the opposite direction, it's not a posi rear end. But uh -huh. it looks like I'll be having to get the kind of gears that I want for this setup. Yeah. Quick way to figure out gear the thing ratio. Is, the thing is also, Eric, though, is that you're doing an overdrive. So you can take the benefit of the overdrive. You don't really want to put too much of a dead rear in the car, meaning dead rear 308, 276, because you've got an overdrive in your five speed. That overdrive is a .68, so we can do some calculations and maybe you want to put that on the little video too. Well, I just, I don't want to be tacking out driving down the highway. I want to be able to drive this on the highway and at a reasonable RPM. Right, but you also don't want to be like overdriving so much that yeah. you can never even use fifth gear. Right. You know what I mean? So you've got to have to figure that out and that's what, that's what I do. <laughs> That's why he's here. Anyway, right. quick way to figure out gear ratio on a posi traction rear end. Thanks, Paul Cangilosi. Right. Really simple. Uh, links to his book and everything in the description. Thanks for watching. Uh, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. Be safe. Have fun. Stay dirty. There's a tire on my butt. <laughs> See ya.